plans change and sometimes you just have to adapt and move things forward so Ron body man Ron was supposed to paint this car but he's been busy he's been really busy he did a ton of body work on it that quarter panel is exceptional come here let's see what this quarter panel look at this quarter body man Ron but Ron was supposed to paint the car and like I said he's been very busy so I said you know what I got to move this thing ahead because we're supposed to take a thousand mile road trip with this car next week I rebuilt the transmission I did the whole front end I haven't had a chance to even think about sorting this thing out so I says you know what I'm just gonna move things ahead I'm gonna shoot this car myself and I did it yesterday and it's my typical paintwork it has some runs it has some overspray it has some blotchiness but you know what I'm thrilled with this thing. I think it looks fantastic. It fits the car. And the thing about this is that it's a temporary paint job. The idea was to just get this car in like one color, get the body work done, get the car in one color, and then find nice bumpers for it, do the interior, replace a lot of the trim that's that's so so on it. So that's to meet that goal. This is perfection. I'm thrilled with it. So I wanna, I wanna start, you know, uh, peeling some of this off. Let's see what the car actually looks like. Yeah, I got my trusty razor blade. A lot of tape. I think I used like three rolls of tape on this thing. This is like one of those uh, automotive ASMR things. It's supposed to be like satisfying. Ooh, satisfying. I was careful when I when I taped it over, when I taped everything, I was careful to run a razor blade between whatever trim I taped and the tape itself so that it wouldn't overlap into the paint. And so far so good. reason I didn't, one of the reasons I didn't take this trim off is because the clips that hold it on are nearly unobtainium. Some of them, like these back pieces, these clips, these clips stay in place, but these whole different setups. I says, you know what, rather than screw around and have to go find all these clips, I'm better off just taping it over for now. I will find nicer chrome for it. A lot of this is dinged and scratchy and stuff like that. But again, it's a long-term car. It's staying in the family. So now we'll go find nicer stuff for it. Satisfying. Kiwi is going to come here tonight to do his live. Watch him snicker. He's going to be all like, he's going to be like professional body guy like, oh yeah, you did a fine job. You know, like I'm a special ed kid. Which when it comes to stuff like this, I am a special ed kid. It's like this piece of chrome is all dinged out and whatnot. But that's okay. We're going to drive this car and have fun with it. Let's pull this, pull this stuff off the nose. Huh. 
I'll go around everything later and take out the small pieces that don't want to come now. Not bad. Not bad at all. quality body and paint work and listen guys if I can do this you can do this like like literally this is as backyard and basic as you could possibly get with the exception of the professional body work that was done by Ron but everything here is uh yeah It's just real simple, basic stuff. Oh, that looks like a proper hot rod. Not bad. Okay, I'm thrilled with this. I, I, I know. It, it, it's got overspray. It's got blotchiness. It's got some runs and stuff. I don't care. It's beautiful. It's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And it'll look good for the next two or three years while we find the rest of the stuff to make the car as nice as we want it to be. So I'm going to finish pulling this stuff off of here. And also now, as soon as this car is out, the Belvedere comes here. So this morning I dropped by my friend Andy May's place. He's, he's about five miles up the road here. And we were talking about slant sixes and we were talking about, you know, what are we going to do with this? So this is the motor out of Plan Z. This is the first one that's going to go into the Belvedere mule car. And uh, I was talking to Andy this morning about something very spicy for this that you guys might, I, I, I think you're going you're gonna to like it. But I'm not going to talk about it any more than that now. So I'm going to keep peeling tape, and then we're going to get this thing on the ground and uh, take it for a ride. It's just like unwrapping a, a, a Christmas present. Come on. Uh, where's that razor blade when I need it?
I'll see you tomorrow.